John 18 and 37. Pilate therefore said unto him, Art thou a king then? Yahweh Shah answered, Thou sayest that I am a king. To this end was I born, and for this cause came I into the world, that I should bear witness unto the truth. Everyone that is of the truth heareth my voice. Verse 38, Pilate said unto him, What is truth? This is Psalms 119 and 142. Thy righteousness is an everlasting righteousness, and thy law is the truth. First Ezra's four and thirty six. All the earth crieth upon the truth, and the heaven blesseth it. All work shake and tremble at it, and with it is no unrighteous thing. Verse thirty eight As for the truth, it endureth and is always strong, it liveth and conquereth forevermore. Back in John 18 and 38. Again, Pilate said unto him, what is truth? And when he had said this, he went out again unto the Jews and said unto them, I find in him no fault at all. There's no fault in the truth. Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises to the Heavenly Father <clears throat> in the name of His only begotten Son and the Holy Spirit. Yahweh A double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. And Shalom to the brothers preaching and teaching His word, fear and trembling. Also, Shalom to the believers who subscribe. To this truth, to the spirit and power, Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai, the brother Tazamak, uh, from the GMS Memphis camp, you know, coming with another uh, lesson, Lord willing, it's edifying. All right, on my way to the plantation, <clears throat> and um, just want to deal with a, the verse of the day. That I read this morning, and it was, uh, you know, as I read in the beginning, it was when uh, Yahweh Shai was uh, uh, on his way to be crucified, you know, and he was being uh, sentenced and brought before uh, Pontius Pilate, you know, and. Uh, Pretty much, he told him the truth, you know. <clears throat> and uh, Pilate asked him, "What was the what, what? What is the truth?" And um, you know, he said um, <laughs> he found no fault in this man. Right afterwards, which Pilate answered his own question. You know, when I was reading it, I was like, you know, he technically answered his own question. So that's what that's what inspired the topic that you see. Uh, there's no fault in the truth. OK, there's no fault in the truth. The truth is faultless because you can never make an excuse. All right. That's why the Lord say. Uh, there should be no cloak. For their sins You know Nobody's going to be able to say They didn't know what the truth was They didn't understand what the Lord's judgment uh, Is Alright Because He foolproofed everything 
And that's why we understand the importance. And that's also why we, you know, say we have the 100% truth. Because we do. You know, the Lord gave it to us. Uh, when you go into uh, Revelation, it talks about uh, those virgins in whom uh, uh, there was no gal in their mouths. That's talking about the elect, of course. All right. Who uh, upheld and endured sound doctrine. You know, uh, the, the, the pure doctrine of Yahweh Bashim and Hawassai. Not only did they um, teach those things, but they lived by those things as well. You know, as we men here at Great Millstone, uh, we 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 try to uh, live accordingly. You know, as it is written to the law, statutes, and commandments, rehearse the righteous acts. You know, the ultimate thing that we know though is that it's all based upon faith <clears throat> anything that we do and anything that anybody does for that matter is based upon a level of faith now do you have faith in the supreme power the heavenly father Yahweh Shimi Shai? do you have faith in his righteousness or do you trust in the uh, oppression you believe in this system this beast system this world you know, because at the end of the day, the truth has been told and you've been warned, you know, about the adversary, you know, the devil, he's been identified, the man of sin hasn't been identified, you know, we know who Esau Edom is today, we know who all the nations are today for that matter. And we know that uh, the nation of Israel have a certain uh, standard to uphold. And only the elect other nation of Israel is going to uh, submit to that standard and, and embrace it and proclaim it in the earth, you know. And um, that's why they'll be found blameless in the eyes of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. No fault, you know. He said, uh, "Those that are of the truth hear His voice." Right. Uh, so by default, anyone that's not hearing this word, you know, hearkening unto. The voice of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai and committing to his will and doing the things that please him. They're not of the truth. Just plain and simple. <clears throat> you can't deny the truth, man. You can with your mouth, but you can't with your heart. You know? And that's why there's also a scripture that says they honor me with their lips, but their hearts are far from me. You know? <clears throat> the truth ultimately is going to have more enemies than friends. Because what the truth does, it, it has no it has no respect to person. It, it doesn't uh, spare feelings. It doesn't care about feelings and emotions. The truth only cares about the truth. But the Yahweh Shah say, I am the way, the truth, and the life. You know? Yahweh Shah is ultimately the way uh, that we get back to the Heavenly Father and whom the ultimate uh, source of life uh, abides with, you know? 
the, the source of life abides with the Heavenly Father. And when you live uh, contrary to um, His righteousness, you live uh, a lie, you live uh, according to the ways of the wicked, which is uh, a, a deceitful lifestyle, you know, based upon uh, usury, slandering, deceiving, then you ultimately, uh, <clears throat> you die. You know, the, the wages of sin is death. But again, in truth, there is no, there's no faults in the truth. The truth is faultless. There ain't no way that uh, you can deny it. <laughs> like I said, you can deny it with your lips. You know, the mouth can say anything. That's why the Lord says it's not what goeth in, but it's what cometh out that defileth the man. Is if the truth is not coming out of your mouth, then you are filthy. You know. That's why I said, uh, "What? Uh, how shall a young man uh, cleanse his way by taking heed unto the word?" You know, this word makes us clean. This word makes us faultless because this word is the truth. The Holy Bible uh, is the. Uh, the standard of the Lord's truth, man. And that's why um, you see uh, the prophets. That's why you see the men of the Lord. That's why you see all of this um, great awakening of the nation of Israel, particularly the elect, you know, because all that, all that really matters is the elect, because the elect are the only ones that's going to do it, you know. A lot of Israelites are going to wake up, uh, but not uh, uh, perform, not do the the deeds. Right? Not do the work. Not commit. You know, it's a whole lot of uh, Jakes that just know they're Israelites. But that's that's not even really half of it, man. You know? That's just the beginning. That's only the beginning of truly coming back to the Lord. <laughs> because there's a uh, there's a whole lot of responsibility, and there's a uh, that comes with the, the truth of knowing that you're an Israelite. There's a, much, a whole lot more required than just the knowledge of knowing you're an Israelite. You know, <clears throat> there's a there's a particular. Uh, like the Lord said, he, 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 it's a particular reputation that comes with that name. It's like the Lord says, uh, he, uh, his word is above his name. He puts his word above his name. He really means it's his reputation. It's his word is his reputation. You know? And you're not going to put something on the Lord that's not true. The truth is everything. So with that, you know, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory again to the Heavenly Father in the name of His only begotten Son and the Holy Spirit. Call Allah, you Allah, Yahweh, Ba Sham, Yahweh Shai, Wa Bakaha Kodash, Kwam Yasharala, Abab Abal. Rise, Israel, destroy confusion. Shalom, La Bakhayim. Peace to the elect.